Hello and welcome to the second video of the Python for Chemical Engineering Calculations. In this video I will talk more about arithmetics in Python. Uh, I will talk about how to get help on Python functions, about comments and a little bit more about variables. So we're working with our IPython console. Let's start with the modulo operator. And by the way, look at the symbol here. So I typed something, but because it was preceded by the hashtag, Python interpreted it as a comment. So everything that you put after the comment is ignored. Let's see how this modulo operator is used. It is given by the percent sign. And if I type 5% 2, it will give me one. So the modulo operator gives a remainder from the integer division. So if I do 5% 5, 5, it will give me zero. And by the way, note that it doesn't matter uh, when I perform any Python arithmetic, it doesn't matter whether I include spaces or not. So let's, let's do 6%, uh, percent 3, while the remainder is zero or 6%, percent 4, the remainder is two. So another thing I want to demonstrate is rounding. When we use two variables, a equals one, b equals two, three, and we want to calculate a divided by b, well, it will give us a bunch of figures. Well, we typically don't want to use that many digits in anything we calculate, so it's convenient to round this number. In order to do that, Python has a function round. So if I do this, well, it will round it to the integer, and well, the nearest integer will be zero, right? So that's certainly not what I want to do. What I want to do instead, I do round a divided by b with the number of figures I want to use. And you probably have noticed when I was typing round, Python was already giving me a hint of how to use this function. So it gives a hint on its syntax. And often it's very convenient and it is sufficient. So we see number and n digits equal none. So that means that the second uh, variable here is uh, not necessary. And by default, it has, a, it has the value of zero. So, however, if this is insufficient, you can call help for your function by using, for example, a question mark. If I type round and then a question mark, it will print me the details on these Python function. Well, another option actually would be to type this and to press command I, and then it will give me the help on my function right here at the top. Then if I print help round, it will print me the same thing as as above, right? It, it gives me gives me the option how to use these function. And last but not least, you can Google for it. And that's what I strongly recommend. So if you're not sure about any of the Python syntax, any of the options you can use, just Google it, and you can find pretty much anything. Um, and once again, well, I wrote this hashtag sign, which is a comment. And well, the example here is when I commented out the entire line. Sometimes you don't need to do it. If I type a equals one, b equals two, I will assign the values for both of the variables. If for whatever reason, I decide not to do this, I can comment out the second half of the line and this part will not be executed. Well, uh, let's do the following. I'll type B equals three, right? Put enter and the value of B, which we can read here, will be still two. All right, so one more important thing about the variables. So let's say I'm doing A equals one, well, A is one, I'm doing B equals two, B is two, 
and then I decide to, let's say, I introduce C, which is related to one of my variables. So I can say C equals B squared plus one, right? So if I pr uh, print C, so C equals five, right? So if I decide to change my variable B, right? So I put B equals three, obviously the value of B changed, but the value of C remained the same. Although we introduced this dependence here, but it actually is calculated for the value of B, which we used to have right here and not here. So in order to do that, you need to repeat this line again. And in IPython console, in order, in order to repeat any of the previous instructions, you have to just press up a few times. If we do this, and print C, now C will have a different value.